One of the advantages of using a managed PoE Ethernet switch is that you can turn on and turn off PoE devices from anywhere on the network, depending on the switch, of course. Uh, so if a PoE device became unresponsive, that's probably the first thing you would try. You'd try turning it off and turning it on to see if it would come back on live. The PD failure check function on the EDSP510, it does that for you automatically, and we're going to demonstrate that here today with a very simple IP video surveillance system. Now, the components of our system, uh, you can see here, we have the camera, the V-Port 25 weatherproof dome type camera. I'm taking off the cover so you can see the LEDs. Uh, they're lit. Uh, the camera is a, a PoE device. It's receiving power and transmitting data over a standard Ethernet cable. Now, the Ethernet cable is connected to our switch, the EDSP510. It's a 10-port managed Ethernet switch. Four ports are PoE, and they're labeled as such. And it has three standard Ethernet ports. And it also supports three gigabit connections uh, using any combination of SFP and copper ports. Now, our monitoring station, uh, ha we have a software package installed called SoftNVR IA. And you can see it is capturing live video from our camera. Now, the PD failure check function is currently active, so it's monitoring this camera to make sure that it's responsive. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to temporarily cause this camera to become unresponsive. I'm going to do that by pushing this reset button. Now you can see that the video feed is frozen, and look at the LEDs. Now the LEDs just turned off and turned on again. That was the PD failure check function. Uh, it had detected, it automatically detected that the device, the camera, uh, had become unresponsive. And so it turned off the camera and turned it on automatically to see if it would come back online. Let's take a look at the web console for the EDSP510 to see how this function works. You can see this is the settings for the PD failure check function. It sends ping requests to the specified IP address at the specified interval. So if the device fails to respond three times in a row, that's when the switch will turn the device off and turn it on again to see if it can bring it back online. And as any engineer knows, with electronic devices, a lot of times that's all you need to do. You just need to turn it off and turn it on, and for some reason, that resets the slate and brings the device back up. You can see the video feed has been restored. Now, there are a lot of other management, uh, very useful management functions available on the EDSP 510. Visit our website for more details, to get pricing, search for suppliers, and even order evaluation units. Thanks for watching.